Hey, this is LXDF, and today we're hanging out in Santa's Surf Shack about to do the Linux 101 uh, Cranberry Pi Terminal, part of the SANS Holiday Hack 2023. Um, learning Linux is such a useful skill if you're going to be any, really any position in security um, or a developer or anything like that. Um, being comfortable at a Linux command line is such a critical skill. So um, it's something I use every day, and uh, that's, these, these kind of challenges are awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, clicking on the terminal here, I'm going to get uh, prompts up here at the top telling me what they need me to do, as well as then, a, well, in a second, once I type yes here, I'm going to get myself at a terminal here on the ELF system, uh, and we're going to start trying to solve the challenges. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, perform a directory listing of your home directory to find a troll and receive a present. Um, so ls is the command to list files on Linux, and so we can do that. We can see we find this troll. Uh, now find the, so the troll inside troll. So the cat command is going to spit out uh, whatever I type whatever is the contents of a file to the command line, to the terminal. Um, you'll notice there I typed tr and then I hit tab. And because there's no other files in this directory that start tr, it, it complete, Linux is smart enough to say, okay, I'm just going to complete this for you. And so I get the full file name. And now when I enter, I get the contents of that file. Uh, now remove it. Okay, well, so rm is the command to remove a file. And I love one of my favorite shortcuts. If I hold down alt and hit period right here, the previous uh, last item of a last word on the line is going to come up. So if I hit it again, I actually get the ls up here because it's the last line on the line. Uh, so if I go back and then just come here again, I can get that troll and remove that. Um, print the present working directory to using a command. Okay, so pwd is the command to print working directory, and that'll give us our answer. Uh, looks like another troll hid itself in your home directory. So hidden files in Linux, basically any files that starts with a dot um, doesn't show up for standard commands like ls, unless you give it the dash a for all. And now you'll see we get bash history, bash logout. Um, these four files are all files that are kind of part of a standard home directory Linux profile, uh, but we also got a troll there too. So that's good. Um, all right, find a troll in your command history. Well, the command to find history is history. And you can see we've got a troll there apparently. Uh, find a troll in your environment variables. env is the command to show you all of your environment variables. And I can uh, scroll up here and look at these. And uh, we, could, we could use the grep command, which we'll use more later. And I'll explain, well, I'll explain now. Um, two things. One, when I use this pipe in Linux, what that does is it says that stuff you were going to send out to the screen, instead, send it over to the next command that comes after the pipe. And that'll be what it reads as its standard in or its input. So now I'm going to say grep, which is going to go through all the lines in the input and only give me lines that match the, that have the string troll in it. And I'm going to give it a dash i because I don't want it to be case sensitive. I want to get troll of any casing. Um, and so now we get the lines that have troll in them. And that must have been one of those solved our answer. Uh, it says now head to the workshop. If we look here in our commands again, we have a folder. And you can tell it's a folder because it's uh, in bold here in this blue. Um, also, if we dive, use ls minus l, we can see details. And it's got a d up here in the very front of the permissions. And that means it's a directory. Um, so we can use cd to change directory and then into workshop. And again, wo tab because I'm lazy. Um, and we're in the direct, we're in there. All right, uh, a troll is hiding in one of the toolboxes. Use grep while ignoring case to find out which tro which toolbox it's in. Uh, if we hit ls to look here, we see there's a ton of toolbox number.txt files. It looks like almost 500 of them. Um, so before we talked about grep, we want, want minus i to make it case insensitive, destroying troll. And now where are we going to look for that? Before we had typed it into grep, and so we just left it at blank. But now we can give it a file name. So we could do something like uh, Toolbox, toolbox 474, and we grep for that. We don't find anything. But we want we want to look in all the toolboxes. So we're going to give it a wildcard, a star, and that's going to search across all the files uh, that start off with toolbox. And when we run that, we find it in 191. Um, a troll is blocking the present engine from starting. Run the present engine binary to receive this troll. Let's see. So we can start uh, seeing if there is a present engine. So there's a file here called present engine. We can actually hit run the file command. Um, and that'll tell us more information about what kind of file it is. Um, and we can see this is a 64-bit ELF uh, executable. That's a standard Linux executable. Um, and so the way we'd run an executable in the current directory is we'd do dot slash, and then we'd run the, the, the uh, executable name. And you can, I don't know if you can hear me, I'm hitting tab right now, and it's not completing. So we can try um, typing it out and running it, and we get a permission denied. Now, if we ran something that didn't exist, we get no such file. So the file's there, but we can't run it. Well, if we look, uh, Again, we'll run this ls minus l for the long output. We can look at the permissions on this one. So this, this string at the very front here is the permissions. Um, and then we have uh, the owner, the group, and uh, this will be the size and the date last modified and the file name. So 
you can see, we already talked about this bit right here is how we marked it as a directory. There's a few other things it can do. Um, but then you have three pair, three triplets um, that are all the read, write, and execute bit. And so this one is for what, what can the owner do with this file? This is for what can the owner's group do with this file? Or in this case, you know, the elf group. And this is where, what, what can anyone do with this file? So right now, only, everyone can just read this file. If we use the change mod command, um, for now we'll just say plus x to give it execute on present version. And now if we run that again, we'll see now the x bit is turned on for everybody, users, owner, et cetera. So now if we try to do present engine like that, tab works because Linux is smart enough to say, oh, there is a file you can execute in this way called PR tab. So let's get, here's present engine and we run it and we solve the problem. Uh, let's see. Trolls have blown the fuses in home workshop electrical. So we're already in a workshop, so we can just do CD electrical. And uh, we are supposed to rename blown fuse zero to fuse zero. Okay, there's the file. So we are going to rename, that's going to be move, uh, blown fuse zero to fuse, if I can type, fuse zero. And uh, that worked. Okay, so now it wants us to make a symbolic link or a sim link named fuse one that points to fuse zero. Um, and the command we're going to use for that is ln for link minus s to make it symbolic. Now we're going to give it the target, the thing we're making a copy of, so or pointing to, so fuse zero, and then the output name of what we want it to be. So we want it to be fuse one. And if we run an ls minus l again now, we can see there is a thing fuse one. The permission is actually set to l. You can see this l up here for like that's kind of where we saw the directory before. That's a link, and you can it tells us oh it's it's a link and it's pointing to fuse zero. Uh, okay, make a copy of fuse one and call it fuse two. So if we copy cp uh, fuse one and fuse two. And if we look now, just real quick, just so you can see, when I copy fuse one, because fuse one's a link, it actually goes to, okay, I'm actually making a copy of fuse zero. And so that's why you can see fuse zero here and fuse one. Um, they both are 200 bytes long, they're the same size. So we copy, you don't copy the link, you copy the thing the link points to. Um, okay, now we need to add the, tr the character's troll repellent into file two. I'll come up here and just give that a quick copy. And we can use the echo command to uh, print something to the screen. Now I want to add that into fuse two. And so what this double angle bracket is going to do is it's going to say, whatever output comes from this command, instead of printing it to the screen, go ahead and append it to the end of fuse two. And so we did that and we were good. Um, all right, next one. Find the troll somewhere in opt troll den. So we'll cd opt. And, and before when we've done change directory, if we haven't started with a slash, we're, we're, we're going local relative to where we are now. But when I put this slash here at the beginning, that says go to the root of the file system and go into those directories. So we've done that. Uh, and we need to find a troll somewhere in here. So um, it's a little ambiguous here. Like, am I looking for a troll file? I'm looking for a troll in a file? Um, I guess we can use the find command because it says find. So that, this seems obvious. Um, and that says, okay, I'm going to look recursively from where? Well, we're gonna, we'll do dot for the current directory. So in the current directory, we're going to look. And uh, what are we going to do? Where, what are we looking for? Um, if I just hit this, it's going to print a ton of stuff to the screen. Um, in fact, that answered the question. So it clearly had it in there. So maybe we'll use our grep command again to just get it. And there is a troll right here in resources. Um, you can see here, it's actually grep is nice enough to highlight for us that here's where it found troll. It also found the word troll here in these con words controller. So um, grep sometimes, you, you know, just as long as you understand how the grep's working, you can use it. So. Okay, find the file somewhere in uh, opt troll then that is owned by the troll user. Okay, so we can use the find command again. And this time we can just give it the user flag and put in the word troll, oops, troll. And it will show us the file owned by troll user. So that's cool. Um, find the file created by trolls that is greater than 108 kilobytes and less than 110 kilobytes and located here. So we can use the find command again, searching through dot for the current directory. Um, and now we want to find greater than, so we'll use the size command, the size flag. So I can type it out. And in this case, we want plus 108k. And then we can use the size flag again, and we'll say minus 110k. And uh, that worked. So um, we need to find, list the processes. So the simplest way to do that is the ps command for processes. Now this doesn't actually find it, and ps by default just shows uh, processes within the current session. So if we do a ps, um, I personally, you can do dash ef as a common one will show us. Um, and that, that worked for us here. We see this one troll here. Um, you can see it shows us the PID, the process ID of each process, as well as the parent process ID. 
Um, I also often find myself running a PSAUXWW, and that'll show, um, it's just a different view of different things, but it shows that this one shows the full command lines as well. Um, so that's quite handy. Um, all right, let's see. The troll 14516 process is listening on a TCP port. Use the command to have only the listening port displayed on the screen. So the command here is netstat. And by habit, I almost always do TNLP. Um, now, if you're not running as root, you actually, uh, this, this is going to print not only the listening ports, but it's going to show you, uh, if you're running as root and have permissions, it's going to give you um, the names of the process, the process uh, that are actually listening on those ports. Um, because we're not running as root here, we're going to get a failure hit there. Um, and so we can see, you know, not all processes have been identified. Non-owned process will not be shown. Uh, you have to be root to see it all. Um, but still, we did get the, you know, the we did get, because it's running as us, uh, the process, the PID or program right name. So it's, that's actually running this, as well as you can see the port that it's running on, uh, et cetera. All right, so the service is listening on port 54321 on HTTP server. Interact with it to receive the latest troll. Um, so because I said HTTP, I'm tempted to two things. There's two command lines you commonly use, wget and curl. Um, they both work perfectly good for this. So we'll try wget. We're going to go to our curl. We'll try curl. We'll go to localhost, uh, and we'll go to the port 54321. And that's going to fetch a web page off that port or some command, whatever the uh, file is available over HTTP. And so we get a troll. Um, all right, your final task is to stop the troll process. So we already know the process ID right here is uh, 5619. So if we do kill, oops, uh, this kill 5619, that should stop that process. And uh, we've finished the achievement. So. Um, this was a neat little tutorial, and uh, one is if you're not comfortable on the command line, I would definitely recommend you try out. Um, these scenarios are up now and will be up for three years, so uh, come into the Sand Holiday Hack and give them a try. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will talk to you next time. Bye.